subscribe to the show. This is family friendly. Hello. Hi, guys, welcome to Three Minute John. And now the news. Google gets slapped by the EU. Google, I mean Alphabet, or is it Google? Well, in 2015, Google split up into multiple companies that are owned by Alphabet, but one of them is named Google. But Alphabet came from Google, so yeah. Let's just call it Google. Okay? Okay! Anywho, Google was fined last year by the EU with a record-breaking $2.7 billion for abusing its dominance in the search engine, and you would think that $2.7 billion is enough to make them comply with the EU's policies. Well, not quite. This week, the EU had another strike for the tech giant, accusing Google of breaking antitrust laws and asking for a $5 billion fine. Sorry, that wasn't dramatic enough. $5 billion fine. It's not so dramatic for Google though, because their market value is at $766 billion. So for them, a $5 billion fine, it's fine. <laughs> the European Commission accuses Google of abusing its Android market dominance in three areas. Building its search engine and Chrome apps into the operating system, blocking phone makers from creating forked versions of Android, ah, those mother forkers, and paying manufacturers and mobile operators to exclusively bundle the Google search app on handsets. Google, you bad, bad tech giant. Shut up, you fat f The European Commission wants Google to bring its illegal conduct to an end within 90 days of the decision. Well, that's not going to happen. Because as before, with the $2.7 billion fine, they appeal the decision and it will be going back and forth for a few years until they will settle at a lower fine and on terms that they will agree to. Why? Well, I can give you 766 billion reasons why. Now, this platform, YouTube, is owned by Google, which is owned by Alphabet which is actually Google. Anyway, Google owns YouTube. So, uh, I am very sorry this happened. I wish this didn't happen to them. Google is the best. If I had $5 billion, I would have paid the fine myself. I love Google. I love this platform. All hail YouTube and Google and Alphabet. Galaxy Note 9 leaks. On August 9th, Samsung will announce the Galaxy Note 9, the largest phone from Samsung. The pride and joy of the South Korean manufacturer. The phone with the pen. The iPhone nemesis. The oh god I hope he won't burn my car phone. Never forget. But again, there will be no surprise when they unveil the new device because the internet is stacked with leaks of the Note 9. And now I give you the Galaxy Note 9. <gasps> I'm so not surprised. <laughs> I won't bore you with the specs because it's gonna be powerful and we'll talk about it after the event on August 9th, but the latest leak about the Note 9 shows that the fingerprint sensor will be under the dual cameras and I know it's just another leak, but even DJ Ko was spotted using a Note-like device that had a case with a T-shaped cutout on the back. It's like they're not even trying to surprise us anymore. Hey, happy birthday, John. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, we're gonna have a surprise party for you. What? Why tell me? Yeah, we bought you a skateboard. Dude, stop ruining my yeah. surprises. I know. <laughs> F you. The S Pen will have Bluetooth capabilities that can control a few functions remotely. It will have the Bixby button. Oof. And one of the cameras is bigger than the other one. That looks wrong. I have a pair of things and one is bigger than the other one, but it ain't pretty. Let me show them to you. <sighs> See? This one is much bigger than this one. It's just weird. What? You thought I was talking about my balls? Well, I have the same problem there too. Let me show you. <sighs> See? This one's much bigger and it's just weird. Oh yeah, and also my testicles. And it's rumored to cost over a thousand dollars, which might be a big problem for Samsung. 
Why? Well, if the rumors are true, the next budget 6.1 inch iPhone will cost around $600 and the 6.3 inch Note 9 will cost $1000. If you're in the market for a big phone, I don't think you want to pay an extra $400 for 0.2 inches more. I mean size matters, but 0.2 inches? It just doesn't matter. It does matter! Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk promises not to make robot killers. Thanks, I guess. AI is helpful when you're alone and you want to play a game of chess, or when you need some kind of information from your digital assistant. Hey Bixby, why do you suck? The thing that sucks is your show. But what about using AI in weapons? Nobody would like to see the world end up like it was depicted in the Terminator or Terminator 2. Terminator 3, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis, Terminator 3 Minute John. What? It could happen. I'll be back! I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't do the Terminator voice. In order to stop this from happening, many tech leaders, including our lord and savior Elon Musk, have signed the pledge promising not to develop lethal autonomous weapons, Scouts Honor. The pledge was published Wednesday at the International Joint Conference on Artificial Intelligence in Stockholm, and it was also signed by three co-founders of the Google's DeepMind, also Skype's founder, and some of the world's most prominent AI researchers. The pledge warns that weapon systems that use AI in order to engage targets without any human intervention pose moral and pragmatic threats. And I agree. I mean, how can you trust a robot with the decision of taking a human life? That, my friends, is scary as f do not fear John three minutes. You, I'm sorry, I just I just can't. I can't. What scares me is that even though the most brilliant minds in AI have pledged not to make weaponized AIs, countries like America, China or Russia will still make them. And the AIs will be programmed by someone else. And that someone else might not be so talented. And might make robots that don't function as planned. And that will bring the end of the human race. Do not fear John, you will be protected. I'm sorry, it just sounds like my Terminator has a mental disorder. I, I don't know. I quit now. No. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John, and until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. So, uh, Sophia, should AIs be weaponized? John, I can see your balls. They are uneven. Yeah, I, I should get some pants on. You should.